Hi everyone, this is Bonner here. I wanted to kind of walk you through what you're going to be doing today for your um, digital learning day. Um, but it is Friday, so uh, we reserve that time for YPAR. I wanted to start here on our class website um, under our YPAR uh, resources. One of the things that you might have noticed the last time we were on this page last week is that we designated resources throughout our months by looking at some of the goals that you might remind yourself of the PowerPoint that we've been looking at in class that take us through um, the different phases that we've been through. For example, we've gone through empathizing by doing our community walk, and now we're in the middle of defining and ideating by conducting research, um, which is what you'll be doing today. If you're on this page with me, you'll see that there are links to our spaces um, that lead you to Google Doc folders. So first hour, second hour, and third hour. Um, first hour, I'm gonna, I'm gonna borrow you just as a model for this example today. So whatever hour I'm in for YPAR, I'm gonna click on that through the YPAR page of our class website. It's gonna take me to a shared Google folder. Hopefully you've seen this before. Um, one of the things that we did last week is that we took all the feedback from our pitch presentation and we synthesized it into a chart here in terms of taking action and questions that we need to think about. If you weren't here last week, this might be a document I might start looking over just so that you're familiar with some of our thinking. The next document that we got into was this one right here, which is called our research and action. Um, board and what this really did as I click on it. Um, it will take you to basically a table that will allow us to take our big idea, for example, with first hour rethinking community spaces. And we broke those down into to smaller manageable ideas. We came up with ideas to research, meaning what do we go out and try and find in terms of credible sources? some of the actions that we need to take within those small teams and the people who were interested in being in those teams in the first place. Um, so for example, if our main objective today is research, which it is, and I'm a part of the design team, one of the things I'm gonna be doing today is finding a credible source related to this research, um, related to the topic I signed up for. Um, if your name is not on your uh, research and action board. One of the things I'm going to encourage you to do is to look at all the different topics and ideas that exist on your research and action board within your folder and assign yourself a team because I want you to engage in research that is meaningful to you, that you're motivated to be on, that um, allows you to have choice and space um, to do something meaningful towards the, the bigger goals of this project. So moving forward, there are two things that I'd like for you to do today in our digital learning day. The first thing I'd like for you to do is that I would like for you to find a credible source, just one, in connection to your team that you have been, you assigned yourself to. Um, notice that those teams, I'm going to use first hour again as an example, notice that those teams have their own separate folders so that they can keep their resources in and, and work collaboratively together in, on, in a smaller scale rather than the whole entire class. If I click on design here, you'll see that there is an added document called the YPAR Research Bank. Hopefully you remember the research bank process after we finished internment and we asked our questions and we did some research. We actually banked our information so that the whole entire group could see um, what's happening. One of the things I'm going to ask you to do today is as you find that one credible source that I'd like for you to annotate, I want you to bank it. So what you're simply going to be doing here is that you're going to be, in, in terms of design, what is the title of your source? Um, what's topic? What's it talking about? Over here in the middle column, I want you to think through what are some main ideas? What are some quotes that we can pull out? We're kind of annotating this text for our main purpose. And then we want to link that source so that our other people can, um, so that our other people can access this as we move forward in our um, project. Please hold for part two of this video.